Hi everyone, welcome to Yogetic. My name is Esther Eckhart and this is going to be Yoga for Beginners part 2. So today I'm going to show you how to get into triangle pose and extended side angle pose from mountain pose. Okay, so we stand in mountain pose. Um, as you can see, I've got a block placed on the outside at the back on the right side of the mat. Okay, um, from Tadasana on an in-breath you take a Big step back with your right foot and then you pivot over the heels so both feet are pointing to the wall on that side. So your right foot is totally out and your left foot is slightly about 45 degree in. Breathing in, you place the block on the outside of your right foot. If you've got a block, you do not have to do this with block. It's just for a beginner sometimes handy. Inhaling on an out breath, extend over that right leg. Let the left hip come around and then bring the right arm down on the block and on the left arm up and if the block could be even too low you could place your hand somewhere on the leg or the hand could slide further down to wherever your body takes you. If your neck is sometimes a bit painful you can look straight ahead or you can look up along the left arm and I would suggest staying in this pose for about five breaths building up to 15 breaths. The shoulder blades are together at the back. You lengthen from the base of the spine to the top of the spine. On the next in-breath you come out by pressing into your feet and lengthening out through your left arm. Then you take the block with you and you switch, pivot, pivot over the heels again to change the leg to the other side. Breathing in, arms out again and exhaling, leaning forward, reaching and on an out breath bring the left arm down and the right arm up. And again, you can use the block if you want to. You can look up along the right arm or looking straight ahead. And taking five breaths to start with. And out on the in breath, you come back up again and you bring your hands down and step your back foot forward towards the front foot. Right. Then we're going to do extended side angle pose. So, it's the same way. On the in-breath again, you take a big step back with your right foot. You could take the block with you again. Pivot over the heels and both feet are pointing that way. Place your hands on your side to start with. Breathing in, pull up your kneecaps and your thighs. Don't overextend your legs, but they're just nice and straight. And on an out-breath, you bend into that front leg. Keep your knee right over the heel, the ankle, and in line with the toes first two toes, and you pull up that back leg nice and strong, inhaling, and on out breath you can place your hand on the block, the block is right underneath the shoulder, or your forearm on the leg like this, and then bring your left arm up, and if you're really flexible you can also sink as far down to place your hands on the floor, or bring the block down a notch. And then you can also bring that left arm next to the face. And you can look up under the arm to the ceiling or look straight ahead again. So a few things to watch is that you really keep that knee in line with the toes and nicely extend, press the outside of your left foot into the floor, extend out to the fingertips and feel that stretch along the left side of the body. Inhaling and come back up. Changing orientation of your feet again. Bring the block with you if you want. Breathing in on an out breath. Bend into that front knee again. Nice and low if you can. Keep the outside of your foot nicely grounded. Lift the inside of the leg up and place the underarm down or on the block. And the arm next to the ear. Rotate a little bit up to the ceiling. And again, five breaths, building up to 15. On the next in-breath, come back up. Turn to face the center of the room again and step your back foot forward. And that was it. There were two very beginning poses again for you to practice. Thanks for joining me and watch out for part number three.